First we are going to fetch all records from database and display them in a table. Create an Ajax object. Call open function. The request method must be get. This will be the name of file where we will write the PDO code. And the request will be asynchronous. Send will send the request to server. On ready state will be called whenever the status of request changes. The request is successful if ready state is 4 and status is 200. Just display the response in console. Create a new file with this name. Create a new PDO object. Set database host as localhost. We are using sample database called Classic Models. The username of my database is root and the password is empty. Enter the query to fetch all records from employees table. Call query function to execute the query and save its instance in result variable. and simply send the response back in JSON format. Call fetch all method from result variable to get all rows. So here they are displayed as JSON. Create a table where all data will be displayed. Give Tbody a unique ID which will be used in JavaScript. First convert the JSON string in JavaScript objects. Loop through all objects. Create a string variable to display rows. Create tr tag in each loop iteration. First table data will be first name, here you can put your own values. And second will be last name. Finally we can append this HTML variable in tbody tag. So it is displayed in table. Now we need to create a form to add data using PDO prepare statements. Create input fields, here you will be using your own fields. And a submit button. Add on submit event which will be called when this form submits. Create a function with this name in JavaScript. Get all input fields values in separate variables. Just copy-paste the same Ajax code. Close all braces. Display the response in console. The request method must be post. And the file name will be save data.php. 
and in send function we need to pass all variables which needs to be processed by PHP PDO. As the request method is post, so we also need to send a request header. Content type Then its value must be this. Create a new file named savedata.php PDO connection will remain same. Replace this with insert query. In PDO you should not enter the variables directly in SQL query, you just need to enter like this so they will be mapped with variables later. Replace this with prepare so it will prepare the query for insertion. And with this result variable, you need to call execute function. And in this array, you have to tell the mapping of above created strings with actual values. Since we are receiving values from input form, so just use PHP post variable. You can place here as many values as you want. And simply echo the response as string. And to prevent the form from submitting, you need to return false at the end of function. So the data has been created. Now we need to delete a row from database using PDO prepared statement. In your table, create another table data and place a button inside it. Attach onclick listener to this button and call a function. You need to pass the unique ID as a parameter to this function, which will be used to uniquely remove a row. Here we are receiving unique ID in employee number, but you can place your own ID of course. In delete function, first show a simple confirmation box. If this confirm function returns true, then we will call an AJAX to remove the row. So just copy paste the AJAX from add data function in place here. Just change the name of file. And we only need to send the ID in this request. Create a new file with this name. Change this query to delete query. And here we also need to place a variable, so just add a mapping string. And here just use ID which is what we are sending in Ajax request. You can see it has placed an ID in JavaScript function. And that row has been removed. Now we need to create a function to edit a row using PDO prepared statement. First we need to show old values of selected row. Create a link to edit data page. And pass the unique ID of that row.
create a new file named edit.php. This table is not needed. First we need to get the data using that unique ID so we can populate it in form. The connection string will remain same. Get the ID from URL. Create an SQL query for prepared statement. and execute the query. Set the mapping of this ID with our ID variable value. And call the fetch function to return just one row. Just display it to see if we are getting correct values. They are being received correctly. Replace this to edit data function. Create a hidden input field for ID. And set the value attribute to each input field. In this page, we do not need this Ajax request. And this delete function. Just replace the function name. And add another variable for ID. And pass it in Ajax request too. Change the file name. Create a copy of saved data file and rename it to edit data.php. Change this query to update query. And wherever you need to place some variable, just write like this so they will be mapped later. This will prevent SQL injection in your website. And since we need to update only one row, so set the ID in WHERE clause. And map that ID variable too. So the data is now being updating. Now we need to delete that row from table tag when delete button is clicked. Give tr a custom attribute and set the value of this attribute to unique id of that row. And in delete function, after the response is received, get the tr row using document.query selector. and pass the ID. Then simply call the remove function and it will remove that row from table tag. So the row has been removed without having to refresh the page. Similarly we also need to create a new row when new data has been entered via form. So in index.php file, just copy this tr tag from get data ajax request, and paste it in response of add data function. 
In this function this variable is not created, so place var before it. And in response text, we will send the newly inserted ID from server. So replace unique ID with this response text. And append it in tbody tag. In save data.php, use the PDO connection variable. And call last insert ID function, and it will return the unique ID of new row. And replace first name and last name variables with them. So new data has been entered in database. You can edit it. And deleting the data from database also deletes it from table row 2. So that was the complete CRUD operation using PDO prepared statement. If you face any problem, feel free to ask in the comments section below.